hello, hello guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. I'm super stoked. I got my hands on the ColourPop Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Collection. It just came in the mail a few days ago. And I did do a little like unboxing of it in last week's vlog. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I will link it down below. But today we get to play around with this collection. I am so excited. I love Rudolph. It's actually one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's definitely a must watch every year. But I thought we could play around with the collection today. Pretty much, I got the whole collection. I wasn't able to get my hands on the PR box collection, but I think they were the same thing. It was just like a little bit fancier or done up, but anyways let's jump into the box so it comes with these adorable little Rudolph actually they're more like Clarice but little hair clips all right so I got my little package they're just two little clippies with a little antler and ear and a little bow I don't typically wear hair clips but you know I feel like we kind of have to for the sake of the video so I'm just gonna pin my hair out of the way. We'll say they're kind of hard to um, grab onto because there's so much stuff in the way to like get the little claspy going. Okay, so I got my little antlers on. Super cute. So in the collection, there's a lip scrub and a lip mask and I thought we could try these out before we put our makeup on. They came in adorable little like ornament style boxes, little Rudolph and Clarice. But I think they're really cute because you could hang after you take them out. You could easily hang these in a tree. Use these as little decorations. You get the lip scrub and the lip mask. The scrub is the Rudolph one and it is called just the Rudolph lip scrub. And then the mask is the Clarice overnight lip mask. So it's supposed to be like the Laneige sleeping lip mask I'm going to guess. Especially because the color is so similar. Uh, but we're going to try these today. Starting with the lip mask, the Rudolph lip mask. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize how stinking cute the inside of the boxes are. Like there's a little Rudolph, they've got the snowman, I can't remember what his name is for some reason. Um, the little snowman, snowflakes, little Rudolph, how cute. Oh, there's even um, elves carrying presents, like so adorable. I love that ColourPop always puts so much like time and effort into even just their packaging. So I'm just gonna scoop a little of the lip scrub onto the back of my nail. So it smells really good. It has kind of like a peppermint, but a sweet peppermint, like almost a vanilla-y peppermint. And it feels about like a typical lip scrub. Gritty. <laughs> and I'm just using a makeup wipe to get all of that off my lips. My lips definitely feel exfoliated. They feel a little dry. So now we're going to throw on a little bit of the Clarice lip mask. Again, this just smells really like soft, clean, kind of girly. Not a lot of. This one doesn't smell super pepperminty or anything. Let's take a little on the back of my nail. Mm, but it feels so good. Probably took a lot more than I needed on my nail, but that's okay. I love lip masks like this to just make your lips look so glossy and like, I don't know, just good. Makes your lips look really good. Now that I've got the lip mask on, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my skin, all my foundation, my brows, so we can jump into the highlighter and the eye look and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, got everything done and we're ready to move on. So, I wanna start with the Soul Jingle 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 Shimmering Body Powder. This looks stunning. Of course, the packaging is adorable. Love the candy cane striping. Um, but this is supposed to be like a, I don't know, a body highlight, I guess. But I feel like it could, wow, this one's hard to open. There we go. But I feel like this could duel as a face highlight as well. I mean, look how pretty. Look how stunning and beautiful that is. I also love that it's got a ginormous mirror on there. Haven't taken the plastic cover off yet, 
I'm gonna use a big Kabuki fan brush. If this is anything like any of the ColourPop highlights, this thing is gonna be bomb. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Ooh, I love the like hint of pink in it. So it's kind of like a pink champagne. So it's frosty, but not too like stark white or anything. I love this. Don't think I've ever used a Soul brand highlight before, but I have used like Flexitarian and stuff like that. And ColourPop always has great highlights. This one is so pretty. It's it's a little softer than like Flexitarian, but the color is just so pretty. It adds to that rosiness of the cheek. Looks so pretty on the nose. I'm gonna throw a little on the chin because why not? Oh, such a pretty highlight. I like this one. I've tried a few highlights recently that I just wasn't wasn't feeling, but this one, I love it. I would love to see what it looks like on the body, but I'm not wearing a shirt that I can really do that. I'm actually wearing this Griswold Family Christmas sweatshirt I got from, I can't remember the name of the company now. I'll link it down below, um, but they had a bunch of really cute Christmas sweaters and things. Um, we'll say... Side note, if you're gonna order from them, if you want it to be oversized at all, then size up at least one and maybe two sizes. I got mine in my usual size and it fits pretty tightly. Like I would say it's almost like the size down that I would normally wear. So definitely size up, maybe size up two if you want to be oversized. Anyways, we're talking about Rudolph. So obviously I ain't gonna be trying the bath bomb today, but it smells really good. It just smells fresh and clean, and I think it's super pretty. I will definitely be trying that out on my own at some point. And here we are, we've made it to the palette. So, this is the Rudolph Pressed Powder Palette. ColourPop always has such beautifully pigmented shadows that I'm stoked to be trying this out. The cover of the palette's got Rudolph up at the North Pole. He's tangled up in some lights, super cute. The snowflakes in the background are actually like glittery and textured. And then the back has got Rudolph and the Misfit Elephant and a tree. And I love that all the names of the colors are in little presents. And this is the palette. Is this not so stunning? It's just like a very beautiful Christmas. I love it. Um, also, the mirror is really cute. They have an Abominable and the Wreath and then Rudolph and Clarice. But I think these colors are so stunning. I'm not even sure what I want to do for the makeup look kind of want to do something with this really pretty like cranberry dark cranberry color and maybe some of these really gorgeous shimmers I love that it's got like kind of a whole rose gold neutral palette there and then it's got just a bunch of shimmers with a nice dark brown and then these are all really pretty dark Christmassy colors love it so we're gonna start with the nice light brown called eat eat and I'm gonna pop that in the crease I feel like even if I don't know where this makeup looks gonna go or what I wanna do, starting with a nice light medium brown in the crease is just kinda helps me get going, you know? <laughs> so let's pop that in the crease. Now I'm gonna take this a beautiful kind of like cranberry maroon color called a Full Power. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the outer corner. And I'm probably gonna even give it a little bit of like a wing to it. Then I'm gonna grab a good blending brush and just give that a really good blend. I'm gonna make this a nice smoky corner here. So stinking pretty, I love that color. I don't really know that I have anything quite that color and it's beautiful. This is a hard decision. Part of me really wants to go with this really pretty, like slightly purple silver, but I also think this red would be stunning. You know what, let's live on the wild side. Let's go in with that really pretty shimmery red and it is called Handsome Nose. I'm gonna pop that on the lid. And I'm using a brush to apply this and it's actually going pretty well. And I think I'm gonna kind of like drag it up into the crease a little bit. There we go, that looks really pretty. Honestly, I'm surprised at how well this shade goes on. I mean, it takes like a layer or two to get like a real solid pigment, but honestly, it goes on pretty darn well with the brush. 
And a lot of times these super like foily shimmer shades don't work so well with a brush. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. But now I'm gonna go in. I do think I wanna take that kind of silvery, purpley shade called Misfit Toys. And I just wanna pop that on over top just to see what it does. See how well it will pigment. Oh, Ooh, that's pretty. That is like a frosty color. Gorgeous. So I'm just popping that on the lid. I'm not dragging up into the crease like I did that last shade. Ooh. This would be stunning just on the lid by itself. Ooh, like, hello, New Year's Eve. You know what I'm saying? So beautiful. Honestly, part of me wishes that I had just done this shade on the lid and not worried about that red because I think that would have been just stunning. But this is still really pretty. I just think that silvery shade is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to take my blending brush again and just kind of swoosh it in the crease. This will soften any lines that we got with that shimmery shade. There's so many great combinations in this palette. Ooh, okay. Um, so let's set the palette aside. So I'm gonna throw on some lashes now and I'm gonna do the off camera just because it'll be so much quicker. Throw my lashes on, I'll be back so we can check out the lips. There's some really beautiful lip options. So we're gonna get to play around with those here in just a minute. As I was throwing on my lashes, I realized I didn't throw on an inner corner. So I think I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna grab this really pretty like champagne color called North Pole. And I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner. I was thinking mistletoe and I was like, nah, you know what? We're gonna go with a new color, a new shade here. Oh, that's pretty. Very soft, not like overly intense, which I am all right with. That shade is actually a lot more white than I had thought it was gonna be. Kinda had a feeling that it was gonna be a little brighter just because it was, it's called the North Pole, but it's stunning, love it. Okay, let's move into lip. Now we have multiple options here. The first one being some lip glosses. This is the Couple of Misfits Lip Lux Gloss Trio. I almost called it Lip Gloss Trio, no, Lux Gloss Trio. So again, so this is the adorable packaging. It's got Hermie the Elf and then a couple of Misfit toys on there. Oh gosh, these are beautiful. Okay, so these are the three colors. This one is a really pretty pink with gold flecks in it. This one is called Misfit Elephant. We gotta swatch these, like how can we not? This I actually think would look really pretty because I have like this really soft pink lip going on. From this, it gave my lips just a slight pink hue. And I think it looks really pretty with the kind of pinkish red eye we've got going. So this one is Misfit Elephant. Just a nice soft peachy. Honestly, the color reminds me a lot of my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade, what color do I have it? Fenty Glow, I believe. Then we've got this really pretty, like, warmer pink with kind of more silver, cool toned flecks in it. It's kind of a rosy color, actually very similar to the um, lip mask. This one is Dolly. So it's that one there, and this one is called Dolly. Actually, that one would be beautiful with this look. And then the last one, this is Hermie. It's the white one. I'm guessing this is kind of like a diamond gloss look. They're very, very sticky, I will say that. They're not a real creamy gloss, they're very sticky gloss. So it's just clear with beautiful diamond shimmer in it. Now we also have these Luxe Lipstick and Lip Pencil Duos. We have the Clarice one that says, it's called I Think You're Cute, and then the Rudolph is called There's Always Tomorrow. Again, loving the packaging, it's so cute. So let's go ahead and take a look at the colors. Oh my god, I forgot how beautiful the packaging on this lipstick was. So the lip liner just comes in a like baby blue tube with metallic red writing and snowflakes on it. And the color is this beautiful nude brown. So I'm guessing this is kind of a nude. Yeah, okay. So then, then the lipstick is also a beautiful nude. It's kind of got a little bit of rose color in there, but super pretty. 
Let's swatch the lipstick. That is so pretty, like stunning. And then the Rudolph color. There's always tomorrow. It's in the same exact packaging. The lipstick is this beautiful, shimmery, glittery Christmas red. It has ColourPop written on one side and Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer written on the other. So the lip liner is this dark cranberry red color. And then the lipstick is a beautiful dark berry red color. I love that. Oh gosh, this is a hard decision. Let's swatch it. Okay. So definitely a lot of the pink comes through on that. This is a hard decision. Oh my goodness. Let's go with the nude colors just because I just did a red lip look on my channel and there's always time to do more looks with these. So let's do, let's do the nude color. I'm going to start with the lip liner. Okay, that color is stunningly beautiful. It's honestly very similar to my natural lip color, but a little tip, don't put the lip mask on before using this. It makes this too like almost waxy feeling and it just slips around the lips and it does make it a little difficult to to get a good coat on there. But I love that color, so beautiful. Okay, let's throw the lipstick on over top. Also love how there's snowflakes. I don't know if you guys can see, but there are snowflakes on the side of the lipstick too. Like so cute. I mean, obviously once you start using lipstick, they're gonna get ruined, but very, very cute. Ooh, the formula on that is really nice and soft and creamy. Oh, so good, okay. I love that. I could stop here, but I think we've got some lip glosses to try out, so why not? Let's throw, part of me really wants to try this one on there. But also I'm like, you should just go with the beautiful diamond gloss. Let's get crazy, let's get creative. Let's throw Dolly on there. This was the more pink of the two pink colors. The gloss is so thick that it's like just picking up the lipstick. So I don't love that. But it is pretty added just like the slightest pink hue to the lips and made them look so glossy. Let me know, do you think that was a good choice? Because I do, I think it was good. The other one I would have gone with would have been the kind of diamond gloss looking one. I think that would have been pretty also. I love this look, like just the whole thing is so pretty. I'm so excited to try more eye looks out with this palette because there are are like endless stunning combinations you could create with this, but I do absolutely love this kind of frosted cranberry eye look we've got going on, which is totally perfect for the winter and for Christmas. Love my little antler ears. And this lip color is stunning. What a great combination, but let me know what you guys think about this look down below. Overall, I love this whole collection. Was not able to try the bath bomb, but I will definitely be trying it in the future and letting you guys know. But everything I tried, I really, really liked. Uh, probably my favorite products in this whole collection were the palette because it's stunning and this highlight, it's so beautiful. It's not as intense as what I usually go for, but it's still stunning and I love the little bit of rosiness to it. I think that these were like the best products in this collection. The lips and stuff were really, really great. I love that, but I just really love that palette and that highlight. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think down below. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.